Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Just One, Ebby's YouTube channel. My name is Ebony, and if this is your first time, welcome. Come right on in, see what we have for you guys today. So today, today, it's just going to be like a little, little talk about what happened to me, like a story time, I guess, of what happened to me on Makari. So, and I just wanna kinda of get your opinion of, do you think it was the right thing to do? Or uh, maybe what would you guys have maybe done differently? Um, so as you know, if you have been watching my channel, if you have not, then go ahead and push that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I upload the next video. But if you have been watching my channel already, you know that I am a Poshmark seller. I sell on Poshmark and I recently started selling on um, Macari. So Macari is not like my, you know, go-to. I don't have everything that I have listed on um, Poshmark or Macari. Um, I just kind of started and just trying to see how it goes on Macari. So with that being said, um, I also know that there can be scams and there can be um, a lot of things that happen on the site, whether it be Macari or Poshmark. Um, you just kind of have to be aware and look out for it. So this is what happened. So you guys, I had this bag, which I'll insert the picture here. I had this bag. Um, it was one of my boutique items from Poshmark. I decided to not only have it listed on Poshmark, but have it listed on Macari. So I listed um, this coach bag. It's very nice. It is one of my most expensive items. Um, rather be, it was most expensive on my Poshmark closet, as well as the most expensive item on my Macari closet. It's the most expensive item I had, period. So, with that being said, um, someone actually bought it on Macari. So, I got a notification, saw that someone just bought it. They didn't ask any questions. Um, they didn't say anything. They just bought it. And they bought it for $189. Okay, so that was one thing. I was excited. Yay, I got a sale. But when I looked further into it, I wasn't quite sure about it. So, um, which I always do this for every sale I get. I usually message the person on when it's on my car. I message the person and let them know that um, I appreciate them for shopping with me. Thank you for shopping, you know, with me and that I will ship their item off on the next day. Most of the time, I usually get a response back of someone saying thank you or something, but I didn't get a response. Okay, so the other thing that kind of alarmed me, it wasn't necessarily not getting a response at that point. What alarmed me was the person was a new user because I always look at reviews before I send something out. And the reason is, um, you know, kind of get a feel of what the person is like, like if they actually have bought anything before, um, just if they're new, things of that sort. So this person was new. Um, I'm not sure if they created it, the account that day or if they were just new for the month of August. It said August of 2020. So the person was new. Okay, so that's one thing. So being new, just in my opinion, being new on the site, I would make sure before I spend almost $200, I would want to ask some type of questions. Even if I had all the information put into the listing, I still would most likely ask some type of questions spending that much money on a site and being new. That's one thing. Well, that's another thing amongst many. Okay, so then after the after I messaged and didn't get a message back or you know any response back, um, I looked at their reviews. They didn't have any reviews because they were new. So, so you know, like we're listing the things out that seem a little suspicious. So they're new. They're not responding. They just opened it the same month they bought um, this item in. Um, they have no picture. Um, which, you know, I mean, some people don't want to put a picture up. That's fine. But, yeah, that was a little suspicious. So, I went home. I talked to my husband about it. He was like, mm, I don't know. I wouldn't. He was like, I wouldn't send it out. That's just me. I didn't want, like, my closet. I heard that if you cancel something, you know, it kind of goes against your closet. It goes against, like, your review, your rating, things like that. Dealing with Macari. So, I didn't want to be in a bad light. But I also don't want to send my items out and, you know, risk it. 
And so you're asking like, what am I risking? So there are many things that people can do like with the item. I mean, I what could happen um, is I could list the item and I mean, I could sell the item. I have free, okay, so when I list my items right now, I have free shipping. It was simplified for me, um, just doing it on pirate ship. Um, but on this particular item, being free shipping, I'm not sure what type of coverage I would have had with Macari. Um, so I wasn't sure if they were going to cover me if something happened where the package, you know, got lost or, um, which I don't think they would because I didn't ship it through them. So that's one thing. So it's a good idea to make sure to ship things through Macari. Um, and even then, I'm still not sure of how much they will cover, but I did, um, I do, when I use Pirate Ship, I do pick the option of having a $100 insurance. But of course, this item was selling for $189, so $100 insurance, plus all the paperwork that went along with um, filling it out in order to get money back, I mean $100, that would be it. <laughs> you know, and that's if they honored, you know, the insurance uh, with the U.S. Postal Service. Okay, so another thing that they could do is if they got the item, they could potentially say, okay, I didn't receive it. They could say, I didn't receive it. And, you know, that would be it. I would be out and then still having to try to figure out how to fill out paperwork for that $100 insurance. Another thing that could happen is people can receive items and they can, you know, deliberately um, destroy them or say something was wrong with it and um, or just make it something simple you know some small dot or something that was wrong with it and then could end up sending it back you know saying they want to send it back and issue a return and when you get it back it's something else you know i have seen many of horror, horror stories or horrible stories about people uh, getting return items and it's like a package of tape a pack of tape that's what the person sent back and it's not the actual item then you have the burden to prove that you know it wasn't that item and you know videotaping yourself opening the package for the return different things like that um which it can be rare but i just want to prevent that from happening period uh so that was the things that were going through my head okay so now we you know the person hasn't said anything they you know i tried one more time because i was looking through youtube and of course you know it's just like when you're, you're sick or you feel something a cough and you look on webmd and it tells you like the worst possible thing this is kind of like i guess what i was looking for on youtube and you know like looking and seeing like what could happen so you know after looking on there i did get you know, someone I think said that it might be a good idea to actually reach out to them and just kind of try to strike up some type of conversation or just saying something to get them to respond something back, which is what I did. So what I said was, um, I said, I see you're new on the platform. Um, do you have any questions or is there any concerns? Just to try to get them to say something so that maybe I can get a feel of, you know, what's going on, who they are. Um, they didn't say anything so all of those signs and not responding kind of made me even more like all right no i don't think i'm sending it so after that i actually went to um the help center for makari and i contacted makari and i told them how i felt about everything but before i told them how i felt the real reason of why i actually contacted makari was what happened the next day okay so i you know i told them i was going to send it out the next day right so here's the next day i'm still pondering on it and so i you know actually get someone following my closet on macari with that username the first initial and the last name was what and they had a picture of the person um and they actually started to follow me and those names actually matched the name of who i was supposed to be shipping the package out to so i didn't know a name you know i did all i knew was the name of who i was shipping the package out to because on their actual profile they did not have um they didn't have like a name as their username it was just like letters or whatever it wasn't like an actual name but the person that actually followed me the next day had a name and the name was the same you know same matching names as the um as the person who was purchasing the purse 
and they actually liked the purse so that new and they were new as well they were a new um user they said they had created that account the same day it actually said um the date so they had created that account the same day so that right there it was just like uh oh, nope i'm not sending it out this seems very suspicious seems crazy so i actually contacted um makari on the help center area and i you know sent them a message letting them know um this is what happened um i think it's very suspicious um I asked them, you know, what do you guys do to cover me if I do send it, send it out? And I just, you know, if can you cancel it without, um, like, actually having it go against me? And basically, the person got back to me the next day. They canceled the order. They canceled the order of the transaction, and they didn't say anything back as far as um, what you know would have happened if I would have sent it out but all they did was cancel it they said you know told me the way to cancel for in future if I wanted to cancel myself um, and sorry for you know the inconvenience and that was pretty much it so I don't really know like the conclusion of what would have happened if I would have sent it out what Makari would have done if they would have taken any type of responsibility because of the fact that I wouldn't be shipping through them necessarily so, um, lesson learned, um, I still think it's a good idea to, um, if you can, use Makari's website as far as the shipping and everything, getting the labels, even if you offer free shipping. Um, for me, it's just, was, it's just a different process because of how I inventory items. I haven't, you know, been able or haven't started that process yet of actually using them to ship my items. So, um, I do think it's a good idea to use them. You know, although I do think that it's just I have not gotten the time to actually go through and do all of the inventory um, weighing and changing all of that information. But I just wanted to come to you guys and let you know, you know, that that order was canceled. I, I mean, I had to cancel it. I wasn't going to ship off my item, um, something I paid for and I worked for my money and I you know, I don't want to give things away if I don't choose to. And I also do not want people to um, cheat me as well. So make sure to do your homework on things like this. Um, check and see, you know, check the reviews. Check and see if the person has reviews. Check and see if they're new. See, it, it doesn't hurt to message and ask questions or talk to them. Um, you know, just be polite, be friendly. But at the same time, make sure you're feeling comfortable with transactions because, you know things like this can happen and you just want to save yourself some heartaches and time and some money okay so i appreciate you guys for watching for subscribing and please stay safe out there with everything going on um we want to be resellers and make some money but we do not want to um have to go through so much hassle to do so so you know, try your best to um, do whatever you can in order to avoid those situations. So I am, I'm happy that I did avoid, you know, you know, like sending my item. I am pretty happy with that because I feel like I would have been scammed. But what do you guys think about the situation after hearing it? What do you guys think you would have done? Maybe you've done something differently. Let me know down below. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and subscribing. Please hit that like button. And just one Evie. I'm out. Bye.